Okay, so brainstorming. <laughs> okay, um, what we wanted to do today is just a quick brainstorm or a long brainstorm. It depends on how long we stay awake or <laughs> how long we are free. Um, yes, just about um, everything about the token, no limits. Just um, say anything you want. Um, I just got from a conference of Sparta Bank where they introduced that we want to do um, design thinking more in our company. And um, maybe we could do something like design thinking at the Zoom meeting. For this, we would, um, everyone needs to have a pen and a letter. Does anybody have a pen and a letter? Just, just for the, just the thought. Um, design thinking is about. Uh, just let me explain it. Design thinking is about. Um, we have six minutes time, and you just write down your thoughts. Um, okay. So every thought that goes into your mind, you write down on a piece of paper. Uh, who's who's in? Can it be a digital piece of paper? Of course. Just to write down your thoughts, um, it's important that you... Oh, Han joined us. Hi, Han. Okay. Um, so, um, the Hi, Han. thing is that we don't have much time and don't think about our thoughts too much. Um, but just write it down. Just write down what you think um, and we'll um, collect of uh, your thoughts later, all of the thoughts, so we can make one huge thought paper and then we um, select which one is good, which one is bad. So at the um, first procedure of thinking, there's no bad thing or no good thing. It's just your what comes into your mind, everything. Write it down, six minutes, and then we could continue. And did you get that? Hi. <laughs> no, I didn't Are you uh, listen it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, having a, we're having a brain. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I asked. We're having a brainstorming session. So uh, anything uh, that comes up uh, to your mind about um, NX or related, um, okay. write it down. And then let's go through those. You in? Very cool. OK, so I'll. Open a timer, share my screen. Okay. What? Yeah. Nettie, have it to be in the six minutes. Uh, it, it sounds a little bit long. Yeah, we can also do only three or t two or three minutes. That's how about one minute? How about one minute? Okay, let's try it in let's one. Keep it clean. Okay, so one minute. Okay. <laughs> the, the <cousin. laughs> okay, so the one minute starts. Okay. Hey, I yes? want to just listen in to everyone. <laughs> so. However you want. Okay, so write down everything that comes to your mind um, when it comes to NX, um, if it's about the token structure, if it's about um, possibilities we have, if, if it's about uh, some uh, anything, just anything. Okay, just write down one minute, countdown starts now. Okay, so minutes over. <laughs> you may have noticed one minute is really short. Um, so okay, but good thing you just hopefully have only written down words and have not made too many thoughts of it. Um, so who wants? I got four lines of text. Okay, perfect. Um, do you want to start? Um, I will just collect. All of the thoughts. Yes, I'm not. Who goes first? Oh, 
wait, just let me open a new letter. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay, Nico, so go ahead. All right, I'm going to open up with a uh, sort of an inside joke, airdrop pizza. I thought it's worth sharing here. <laughs> Okay. And then I then I have tokenizing energy transmission. Tokenizing energy transmission. Okay. And then I have something related to it. Energy storage optimization. Energy storage optimization. And then I have uh, IoT as a part of smart network. I guess all of those are related. Even airdrop pizza. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Nico. So, who's next? Looks like mm -hmm. Hennis was asleep. Did you have something to um, present? And <laughs> we can let you go if, if you don't want to listen to this. Because uh, I, I invited her here to, uh, she's been working hard on the our one pager and the infographics and uh, okay. she's probably dying for some ideas. So um, I just wanted to, if you, if you guys are okay with that, maybe give her the floor for a while. Yeah. Oh, so I was working on this file. So I'm just going to send it in the group. How are we going to do it? Uh, you can share your screen if you want to. There's a share screen button on the, okay. on the Zoom app. So that might be the best. So we can also record it. Okay. Edition. 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 Yeah. You see the screen? Yes. Damn, so what, so oh, shit, the, that looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking like the image from the website so it will look like in the same language of the design. And I added some infographics here. Um, so I will just uh, scroll down and he will tell me what he thinks. Uh, this is explain the short term investing and the long term investing. I didn't, I wasn't sure if to write investing or, or investors. So, you know what you think and like if it's like how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and the sparking up and the fizzle down. Um, is these things. I also wasn't sure about what exactly we should write under that. Um, this explains the project, like how I understand it. So let me know if you have any notes or something to change. And this is like the timeline. What the task should be made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure if, uh, I can speak for everybody. It's a great work, great work. Indeed. Like uh, uh, the con content, of course, we uh, we're going to adjust that, and uh, but it, they look it looks amazing. Yeah, perfect. Oh, so happy. Like um, what we had to um, have to adjust ten. Um, can you a little bit to the sparkling up and fizzling down part? Yeah, I wasn't quite sure about how to present it so let me know if you have any ideas or if it's clear enough or i uh, wasn't sure about this part yeah it's it's just like turned over and when you spark up your liquid tokens get to solid tokens and when you fizzle down your solid tokens become liquid ah, it's the opposite. <laughs> yes okay. but but these, these are like the, the we, we can like if you send the file to the group and uh, we'll just go through it uh, uh, yeah Sure. And the way we make all the comments and we send it back to you, but like in terms okay. of the look, great job. Uh, great. Well, let's work okay. on the content and uh, yes. I think it's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, one more question. It's like a PDF file. 
so that's okay right because yeah that works we can we can comment on pdfs yeah so yeah, no problem good so i will just send it in the group thank you um how do i cancel the sharing <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> perfect thank you for this work hand was really amazing so good job great <laughs> and feel free to um have hang around if you if you still want to listen to our uh, go go about about regulation and uh, icos and all those fun stuff uh, i probably will go sleep <laughs> but uh, you guys have fun I will, uh, right. I will watch the, the video. You, you're gonna upload this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna upload it later. Okay, so I'm gonna watch it later. Like, uh, all right, cool. Thank you. Okay, have a good one. thanks. You. Thanks, Anna. Bye -bye. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, bye. Bye bye. Okay, this looks awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, where did we stop? Um, and I have to drive now. Okay. So it was a good meeting and mm -hmm. I wish you a good day. Bidi, Bidi, um, just a short thing. Do you want to share your thoughts first? Um, do, do you have written something down? Yes, I have written something down. Um, okay, just share it with us so we can discuss this later. Yes, it's a voting process. Uh, um, the thing, what, what I th think it was is what exactly want to, what is exactly the thing we want to let the community vote because a lot of projects are very uh, technical and the point is uh, that everyone knows which is a good um, project so and um, yeah what, the next thing uh, was yeah regulation but we had a lot about it <laughs> Um, and uh, the continent where we want to uh, build these uh, TVs and which geographical uh, and yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Good, then. Bye. Welcome back. To the great think tank of Alex. I just realized I forgot my video off. All right. I was eating earlier, so I didn't want to literally record that. Did you hear the awesome music in the background? Or was it just me? Sure did. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So just let me recap what we did um, until now. Okay. Um, we had one minute to write down all of our thoughts about the Annex company and um, just wrote down what come, came to our mind. So first things first, airdrop, for, for, impo most important thing first, airdrop pizza. Okay, um, second thing, tokenizing energy transmission, energy so storage optimization, IoT as a part of smart network. The voting process, what exactly we want people to vote on, if we want to have a comply token, and continents we want to build a PV on. <coughs> so, um, I'll share my things. Um, my thoughts were dividends, especially um, only active users. Um, ERC20 and work together with building platform. So um, with building platform, I uh, mean uh, some platform who is basically building the ERC20 token for us. Okay, Thomas, do you have written down any thoughts? I thought basically um, just about the implementation of our project. Um, <clears throat> collecting money and the token is the on, uh, is in the one hand, 
but um, building PV panels is our yeah is on the other hand, um, and as I know, Max Max told us about that there is a company in Liechtenstein um, who builds the PV panels. Okay, so our project or our aim is to build a network and i think there will be a lot of people who say hey that's a great project um you can build a pv panel on my rooftop okay and maybe they are from finland as nico told me before this uh think tank eating and there will be yeah, people in germany uh, okay all around the world or just in Europe, okay. And how do we guarantee that we can build the um, PV panels to the rooftops? Do we work together with another company or, yeah, how, um, yeah, how do we do this? Because technically I'm not a good guy. I have two left hands. And yeah, it's an excellent question. Yeah, and how how do we decide um, which projects we do? Because um, on the private um, side, as I said, there will be um, some private households who say, um, yeah, you can build uh, PV panels on my rooftop, but there will also be um, yeah, companies. Do we uh, say, okay, you have to have um, enough, uh, do we limit it uh, um, with the space? So we say, okay, um, if we can build um, uh, one megawatt um, PV panel, um, Things, uh, for example, then we don't do it, or how do we decide which project we are building, or is this the community thing um, where we let the uh, network decide? Yeah, that's uh, basically what we want. What we wanted to do um, with the um, sparking up with the voting. Yeah, okay, okay. The okay. most basic. Thing, um, we want to give the right. Okay, but um, I think um, if we do this, um, or if we build a PV panel, there should be a company who watches, okay, does it even make sense to build there a PV panel? Because um, um, of the angle where the sun, sorry, yeah. So basically um, what you thought about is um, partnerships. Yeah, partnerships just, will, will just, come. Um, in, in one word, it will be partnerships, or? Yep. Okay. Great, just let me write that down. Okay, so what I did, I did some uh, little map, let's call it a map, um, of all of our points, I, I hope I don't miss any, so it's, um, oh, I missed partnerships, come on. Okay, um, sorry, and um, uh, I need Google Translator for short. Emergency. Okay, so um, 
what we have to think about now is um, to all of our things we wrote down, how necessary are they? That, it, that will be this X. And how urgent is it to think about these things? So we will have four quarters, one over here. That's the really necessary and really, really urgent things we need to discuss now. The best thing would be to discuss now. So the, um, ur the not so urgent, but still necessary things. I think I'll put, put pizza drone here. Is everybody comfy with this? If I put Pietro pizza there. Yeah, I don't think that classifies as urgent. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, and we have things that are... Um, no, okay, so basically there will be no things up here that are not necessary, but very urgent <laughs> okay also pizza drones maybe um and we have things we have down here that are not urgent and not necessary so we could basically take them out of our thoughts okay so things the things we have here um i would say let's start from the top to the and go down is everybody okay with that yeah go ahead perfect Rip. so you understood what i meant or my english is really bad today wasn't long no, it's, it's fine <laughs> okay don't worry about it <laughs> okay Partnerships. Um, first thing, it's for sure necessary, I think, um, because without any partnerships, um, I have no expertise in building PV panels, um, neither um, expertise in renting rooftops or in the general regulations on the energy market. So I think um, partnerships are really, really necessary, um, but not that urgent right now. Um, right now we have to focus on other things um, because one of our partnership is the Solis Tectum, <coughs> um, which builds in the first place the PV panels for us. So we don't need to do it by ourselves and we just basically buy them from them uh, or more buy the energy from them. So we will do the tokenization of the PV panels from Solus Tectum at the beginning. I think in the future partnerships will be will be the key to let the project grow. And as you said in the beginning, uh, partnerships are not a priority. Probably, uh, what comes to mind is the uh, coding part and the development of the token. We might actually need a partner for that because we don't have in-house coding. So that's. Uh, that brings a lot of urgency if we plan for a summer, summerish token launch. So, in a way, I guess there's two kinds of partnerships. Like, well, actually, there's multiple kinds. But let's say that, like, um, you know, we have people who help us build the network, people who actually help us build the plants, manage the plants. Those all all are kind of partnerships. So very. Uh, important okay so I think that's on the top of partnerships for development because we really need a dev right now and um, at least someone who gives us the possibility to build an ERC20 token to tell us if it's possible what we are planning and also um, really necessary but not that urgent um, partnerships in solar things. So, yeah, perfect. Okay, um, tokenizing energy transmission. Um, what was meant with that, Nico? Well, 
Um, I think one of the key um, future points for the whole network to work and function and, and lend uh, any kind of uh, utility in a larger scale is to solve the problem of transferring electricity from another side of the world to another, um, especially with solar energy. Like um, the biggest problem since solar energy was, was uh, invented is that uh, there's a lot of downtime and you need storage for that and batteries are extremely inefficient for that. So if there would be a way to um, use, use the electricity from another node on a, on a sunny side of the globe while, while you don't have the sun, then that would be something amazing and something that I believe that hasn't been done successfully and probably there's a good reason why it hasn't been done. Of course, I, I don't think that anything is impossible like everything seems impossible until it's done so it's um it's something that we should maybe consider but it's definitely not on the urgent list in, in my opinion but more like something uh, food for thought for everybody uh, yes, how to how to use the tokens to actually uh, let's say that we want to generate electricity in <laughs> germany and transfer it to australia uh, <laughs> uh, using atomic swaps or something like that like immediately or a smart contract and a lightning network or something like that like it's a, it seems like a great idea on paper but yeah something to think okay so basically our um create a vision um to make it possible to transfer um energy from some australian rooftop to the german household because the australian not needed right now and the german is working on annex until 5 a.m. Precisely. Okay, perfect. So um, I think not that urgent, as you already mentioned, but um, for sure necessary because it is our creative vision and we um, really need this at some point. But for the first ICO, maybe somewhere here Atra pizza here everybody okay with that so not that necessary but uh, not that urgent but for sure I am necessary okay um, and combined with that then the energy storage optimization um how we could help people with this thing how to make make it possible for people to store the energy and trade it then or oh, what was meant with that nico am i right yes <laughs> okay so let's Well, it's not that easy doing this on the computer if you only done this on the whiteboard. Okay, IoT, IoT, um, so that's so this three things together could be um the it's for, the first thing is the problem how to tokenize energy transmissions. Then um, something to think about the energy storage optimization, and as a possible, um, damn, I, I lost all my English words today. And one of the possible solutions is the IoT as a part of a smart network. Yeah, I think it's the only solution. I mean, uh, it should be a system that functions automatically with code and uh, the nodes should be able to talk to each other and make deals with each other and uh, uh, you know, transfer tokens at a moment's notice per need without any, uh, anybody managing it or telling it what to do. So definitely uh, something we need for that technology. 
as I mentioned, they they all tie together, and even airdrop airdrop pizza is uh, related to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, I will put just this as a big block down here. Um, ERC20, if we want to have some ERC20 token and um, what are other possibilities? Maybe building it on some sidechain at the Bitcoin mainnet would be awesome, but we first gotta find a dev for that. So maybe ERC20 is the best thing at the moment, the best solution because we don't have much other options. I wouldn't say it's the best solution and it's not even the only solution. But there's a Neo, which is a completely ready product already, already and it's much easier to code for. So at oh. least we should consider that. Of okay. course, I don't, I don't have expertise in either, uh, apart from what I just said. That I, I, I know that it can be done and it has been releasing ICOs already. It's just uh, it's not, it doesn't have the first mover advantage that Ethereum has. But uh, yeah, not a not a big believer in Ethereum's. So. But but then another thing to consider is: um, Do we have any applications like the ADO wallet, like um, <coughs> my EFO wallet, uh, something like this, which are uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> which is um, possible to. Um, connect with a ledger um, which you have so many um, possibilities already on platforms which are almost cost you a small amount or even nothing with the new network because with the ERC20 network we have a lot of possibilities which are already built on online platforms we only have to find and use for our token yeah that's true um, but we don't need that much uh, functionality for our token at the moment the only function it has is staking which which neo does pretty well you mean staking for the uh, just staking okay yeah okay. yeah yeah staking staking the tokens okay so definitely a thing to discuss. So maybe yeah, I, I think those two are at, at the moment probably the only realistic options. So maybe at um, it is necessary that necessary to discuss this, but um, our main urgency would be partnerships for development. At the moment, what we also have to think about if we really want to do a comply token and um, what regulations we want to um, do. So, the, it's what does comply token mean? Um, comply uh, regulated um, security token. Comply. But isn't isn't that what we are trying to do here? Yeah, but um, the thing to discuss would be um, it's like a ton of regulations. And if we want to do every single regulation, um, it sh sure costs us thousands of dollars. Um, we need to list it on Bafin. We need to list it on ESMA. Um, we need to do a lot of paperwork. We need to... Um, consult every um, investor about our token. Also, um, the trading platforms need to be compliant, um, need to do something. Um, what we, of course, what need to do would be some min minimal things. So, um, how, how, comply do we want our token to be how regulated we we surely want a token who is officially declared as a security but um 
that's mine and Thomas' part. Um, we need to find out what are exactly the things we have to do and which of the things are doable. Of course, uh, that raises a problem with the secondary market because I, I don't think the exchanges are going to be able to list the security token. Um, am I correct in that? Um, no. Okay, I, at least I haven't seen, I haven't used any um, security token, but um, Max told me that there are already security tokens and maybe also we should um, go back in our Telegram group and search for the platform who built the security token. There was some Germany comp German company, I've forgotten the name, built or does does anybody remember the name of the company which builds the security token for you? I'm looking for it right now. Okay, thank you. So um, maybe talk to them how they are doing it and what regulations they are doing and how we could do a security token. Okay, um, so <laughs> okay, so um, let's get back to work while yeah, Nick... I, can't, I can't find it now, but uh, I'll I'll try and find it. Just go ahead. Okay, perfect. Um, German company that builds security. Maybe we have to watch some old meetings for to find this one. Okay. Dividends. Dividends. Okay. Dividends. We um, sure only want to pay active users um, the dividend because we don't want money to um, land on dead wallets to land on lost wallets, um, especially because that would mean that our investors who are still having the token and still using it get lower dividend and we definitely burn money. Also, um, what we have to discuss when it comes to dividends, um, how to... Um, uh, how to let um how to do the dividends um with new and old token holders if we only do one token sale um we have if we only okay okay if we have one token then we have the problem that if someone invested in our first project, so let's say we are building a PV panel in Germany in Weingarten. If um, we then do another token um, and so on, okay, I, I need to draw this somewhere. Okay, we have um, 100 tokens. One token is one euro. Tokens, one token equals one euro. If we um, then have one hundred, uh, how do I say it? 
Just let me write it down. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, also we have 100 tokens. Okay, no worries. Um, and then um, come now, I have 50 tokens with it too. Yeah, what you said about the not paying dividends for the dead wallets, and that's a very good point. But I think we were talking about this earlier that we might make a make it so that you have to claim the dividends and they won't be paid automatically. So that would it would require action on your part uh, in some time intervals to actually claim it. Yeah, and that's and that would kind of take away the problem. And then if, if unclaimed for a certain amount of time, they would just be released for the pool of the next uh, next dividends round. Yes. So, okay. I've written it down. I just need to get my mobile phone. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me guys? And yep. can you also see what I've written down? Okay, so let's say in the beginning we give out 100 tokens and our PV panel is worth 100 euro. So that would mean we have one token, one euro. So um, if you have one token, you have 1% of the whole annex coins. <laughs> If we then do another token set where we collect 100 tokens, we have 200 tokens now. So that means one token. Uh, that means if you now have one token, you only have um, 0.5% of NX. That's correct. Of NX. And how to um, make it with the dividends? Because if we say, okay, we pay the dividends. No, it's solved by paying the dividends per token. It doesn't have to be by token. It can be, we can pay the dividends by kilowatt uh, based on the plan, total plant capacity because that's also, uh, that's basically what the token value is based on, right? Yeah. Kilowatts. A megawatts how, how how much can we produce how much does the whole nx network produce so it shouldn't be tied to the token uh, amount big amount of tokens because the amount of tokens will be inflated as projects go on and there will be more projects but at the same time they will be backed up with more actual plants that provide more electricity but yeah, okay, so we could do the token by by electricity. So let's say, okay, we build a hundred megawatt um, solar panel. So we have one hundred tokens, and then we build a seventy megawatt um, PV panel. So we have now have one hundred and seventy tokens. <coughs> but how to Thomas? Yes, continue. Uh, isn't important how many uh, tokens there are in the market it is important how many megawatts are produced and for example if there are 100 megawatts there will be a higher dividend if um, then if it's only 50 megawatts produced so it doesn't matter if you have um, or it doesn't matter if we have 100 coins or 1000 coins in the market. Um, yeah, I think that's a great solution. Um, if we if we pay the dividend um, um, on hand um, um, from the megawatts. By the megawatts. Yeah, by the megawatts, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Yeah, let me write it down. Uh, Evidence by megawatts. Because otherwise, I think 
we have to use options and that's um, and that's really complicated perfect now we have one problem less <laughs> yeah Okay, dividends took only active users, not that necessary, at least as necessary. Oh, hold on. let me share my screen again. Okay, um, so now we have partnership as our main. Continents we want to build implementation of our project. Um, dividends. At this place, at least for now, it's not as important if on which platform we want to build a token on. It's not as necessary as partnerships, but definitely a uh, necessary and urgent thing. Everybody okay? Um, yeah, I have also questions. Uh, question: um, How often do we pay dividends? Yes. Yeah, another good point. And uh, how how do we define who's an active uh, active user? Or talk I was I was suggesting earlier, yeah. and it was suggesting uh, before as well that uh, we we make a claim button uh, in the interface, the wallet or whatever. Uh, so you have to at certain time intervals you can go and claim your dividends, and if you don't do so uh, at certain amount of time, uh, it will be released back to the dividends pool and distributed active wallets. <laughs> it's okay, it's easy to pay the dividends for um, the, the Sparkled Up tokens because we know they are in the network and we know they are staked because we have to take care of the care they really are staked. Um, and that's the easy one. The hard one would be for short-term investors, how to make sure that they receive the dividends. Um, yeah, as Nico said, uh, with a maybe with a button where they have to, um, yeah, click. Uh, yeah, click and get them. Uh, what I thought about um, was um, if if someone sparks their tokens, um, the dividend rises within the time. So, uh, just for example. Um, it raises from an factor from uh, one to maybe two, um, but maybe in a period of two weeks. So if we pay dividends, we have to say, um, well, how 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 do we um, use the problem um, with sparking up so that the dividend um, the person gets gets more, and oh fuck! We, I don't know how to explain this in English. Um, fuck. How to keep track of how long they are invested in, a, how long the tokens are staked, and um, so we can pay them more dividends. Um, I think I think I got what you meant. Like you mean that if somebody is staking up, they are entitled to. A larger dividends but how we yeah. pay that if uh, if we calculate it daily exactly yeah yeah that's and a very good point so 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 we have to say um there must be an um um fest, um the, 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 there must be an given there must be a given amount for um for one token as dividend and then, um, uh, fuck it, so. What do you want to say, say it in German? I try yeah. to translate it. Yeah, vielleicht verstehst du. Also, es ist ja so, wenn wir, um, 
durch diesen Zeitraum steigt ja die Dividende an. Also müssten wir ja sagen, ähm, das, was du bei am Ende von dieser ganzen Sparking-Laufzeit bekommst, das sind 100%. Und das, was du davor bekommst, ist nur ein Anteil an den 100%. Weil wir können ja nicht mehr Dividende ausschütten, als wir eigentlich verdienen. Okay, so I, I think I can explain it in English. Okay. <lacht> so we have a period of time where your dividends get higher and higher and higher. Um, And Thomas said that the highest dividend should be 100% and that everything below that should be 80, 60, 40, 20% of the normal dividend. So we can calculate better. So that's what you wanted to say, Thomas? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Because we can't pay more dividends than we earn. Yes, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. So we Excellent point. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Just let me write it down. Good. Yeah. Good one, Thomas. Um, <laughs> nice so clip. Maybe uh, we haven't talked about the treasury model uh, for expenses because we will have running expenses. So this could be something uh, maybe related. If we would calculate the dividends according to the highest that let's say that the whole network decided to stake up and get the maximum div dividends then that's how much we should uh, have available for payout right but of course that's not going to be the case most of the time not everybody is going to be staking up 100 percent and, and uh, for a long time but it varies but the maximum is uh, can be calculated at any given time and at any given time we should have that much in the treasury you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so yeah, like a buffer so, sorry so uh, what do you call it? like a buffer yeah like a uh, yeah i'm talking about treasury so we we would have like a kind of uh, yeah a buffer for like running expenses and and paying the dividends and that could be like the maybe a the same pool of uh, tokens that we just take take the uh, pay the dividends out and then if there's anything left then we can use those for running expenses and stuff like that and then later when we get more revenue um all the extra goes to the pool we pay the dividends from there and whatever is left there is left there yeah, that sounds reasonable so that's certainly something to discuss about <coughs> I think everybody's sick now. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I I infected you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I I've been feeling like shit for three days, but I'm I'm better today already. So. Yeah. yeah thanks a lot, Matty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, I I think I should t turn off my uh, video so you're not getting infected too. <laughs> yeah. Please, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, is the thing I wrote down summed up what you wanted to say, Nikio? So, calculating dividends like everybody is full sparked up, but only pay 80, 60, 40 for everybody who is not. So, we have a treasury. Is that even English? <laughs> It's a little bit confusing because yeah, I got it. But then, yeah, we can work on the we can work on the wording. Yeah. It's a little bit my point and Nico point mixed up. <laughs> okay, and by the way, you all can um, open the thing uh, on your own so you don't have to watch the screen if, if, if maybe sometimes my internet connection gets worse. It's under meetings in our NX folder. So, rub, rub, rub. Um, under meetings, think tank part two. And I'll upload the think tank um, meeting to this folder later. So I'll do folder think tank 23rd of 20th of January 2018. Okay. So, um, any other thoughts on the dividend side? Okay, that's no. So, continents, we want to build a PV. 
Um, definitely something to discuss, especially when it comes to what Han told us that, um, for example, in Israel, it's um, forbidden to have your own PV panel to produce your own energy. I think that's okay. So that's at least what I understood. Yeah, uh, I think what we want want is a red zone map that we need to build at some point of red mm -hmm. zones that we rather rather than I mean, there's no place that we necessarily uh, don't want to build in, but some places that we simply can't or or it's not feasible. So maybe make a map of the places that we just. Uh, exclude right away out of, out of the bat and of course subject to change but i think that could be useful especially building when we start building the pipeline so we, we will have a kind of like a red, red red zone map for tricky regulations or outright bans for these kind of things i personally when i heard what hen said that I, I didn't even consider that it might be banned in some countries of course it will be banned i mean what was i thinking but yeah, like I mentioned earlier, if that's the case, you know, we, we just operate in, in Europe, then, that, then that, that'll, uh, so be it. It won't matter to us. And we grow according to demand and according to regulation, and that's our own way. Um, I think that's exactly the point which Hemsa meant by they build for each project a new, uh, a new token because in every county or um, in the USA or in every country um, there are different laws or uh, for building a PV panel I think uh, that's also a big big topic um, but yeah as you said it would be good if we uh, do a map well uh, where we can exclude countries where we can't even build them PV panel where private households can't, um, yeah, who, um, are not allowed to have them. Yeah, I think there should be done some re research. Uh, which countries are, um, for example, the best for PV panels, and, or have their um, good laws or yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Very good Where point. And we, we could as as well add the green zones to that map. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dang it. <laughs> so yeah, like pre preferred uh, places for for the next projects. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, very that's, good. Yeah. It's quite helpful. I'll draw pizza. You're my favorite thing. <laughs> it's the pet project. One day, guys, one day. One day we'll have some drones bringing us pizza while working till half past 10. <laughs> we have a dream. I, I think we will all live to see that dream come reality. <laughs> okay. Um, so everybody is okay with the with how it's ordered right now yeah it's okay we have to do this here and talk about work together with building platforms it's not that necessary um is it even necessary is it even urgent so i think that's uh yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, how do you define building platforms? Is it... So uh, it's basically just some companies who, who say, okay, you give us cash, we build you the ERC-20 token. And okay, 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 okay. I get it. Um, but 
I think that goes with partnerships for development or isn't it so? Yes. Yes. I think so. Yeah. And it is related definitely. And also what can be understood with building platform is the, you know, working together with contractors uh, who are actually doing the, doing the actual plant construction. So those are definitely all necessary, but those are probably the least of our problems because the business model itself is sound and it's already been done all around the world. Well, I mean, of course, those places where it's legal to have these plants, there are already these uh, small and mid mid-sized operators who retrofit panels to existing buildings. It's like it's not a, a new thing at all. And there's tons of uh, companies who are doing this. So I guess our work there is uh, to find the companies that, that are interested in working with us with this and then make sign a partnership with them. So that's, that's what we need to do, but I wouldn't consider it a big problem necessarily. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And the last thing, Oh God, I gotta have to go after that. My voice almost gone and I'm so tired. Implementation of our project. What was meant with that again, Thomas? Um, that was, yeah, it goes with, um, da, 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 we have, uh, yeah, how to build PV panels. And with companies who uh, built them, because if we only got Solus Tectum, it's, um maybe difficult for them i don't know how max organizes that but i think it's difficult for them to build in finland and germany and all in europe oh that that was that was never the that was never the intention um, okay yeah like uh, yeah what i tried to say earlier is is we are trying to make these partnerships all around the world because these uh, similar companies the solus tectum exist already they have existing building models uh, excuse me uh, business models and they are building these uh, retrofitting plants already so okay. our job is to find these companies convince them to become a part of uh, our network of uh, contractors to build us those plants in their their locations where they're already making business so that should not be a big stretch for them uh, to be convinced because they are already in the business they already have the connections to these uh, uh, panel um, suppliers and all the electronics mm -hmm. and they have all the people to uh, know how to install those so that's already taken care of and all we need to do is uh, you know agree on our model and and we're in business uh, definitely we're not going to have our own uh, building team go around the world because that will be very expensive and in inefficient so rather the, the bottleneck is how to make these uh, small scale contracts and do the leg work. And that's, uh, I think the big, biggest challenge for our team in the beginning to find those. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that could be a part of me and Natty. Um, yeah, also that we contact the changes, but um, also looking for those companies who offer these, um, yeah the things with building PV panels and yeah. I think that uh, yeah, that's okay. All right, look, looks like we got, got something done. Yes, okay. Cool. Um, sucked out of energy, <laughs> haven't got any left. So I think having a meeting with me is not good, useful anymore. It's the best. <laughs>